The Diplomacy Strategy card is the second one in the initiative order. It has two primary abilities. The first one is that you can defend a system, and the second one is that you can unexhaust up to two planets. So let's have a closer look at these two abilities. The first ability on the Diplomacy card is to defend a system. It is worded a little strange. It says, choose one system other than the Megatol Rex system that contains a planet you control. Each other player places a command token from their reinforcements in that system, and then ready up to two exhausted planets you control. But what this basically means is that all the other players places a command token in a system that you choose when you play this card. And now this system is locked down for them, so now the green player cannot fly into or out of that system if they had ships in there already. But the system is still open for you, so you can still activate other systems and fly out of them. And you can also activate it by yourself and then fly into this system. And note when the other players are placing this token here, it doesn't count as an activation, so they're not allowed to move in when they do this. But after the tokens has been placed here, then the system counts as activated for them. This defense is not entirely bulletproof, because if a player picks the Warfare Strategy card, then one of their primary abilities is to remove one command token from the game board. And that command token can be any token on the game board, so that includes this one as well. And there is also an action card, Unexpected Action, that says remove one of your command tokens from the game board and return it to your reinforcements. And that is the exact same thing. In my experience, these two cards are not played that often on a system locked down by diplomacy. But of course, if this system can secure you the victory, then you should expect all the other players to do whatever they can to take it from you. And the second ability is then ready up to two exhausted planets you control. So let's say that you earlier in this game round produced a lot of units on your space dock in your home system and you have exhausted all your planets. And now you note that the leadership player has not played that card yet. So if you unexhaust, for instance, these two planets here, that got one and two influence here, then whenever the leadership player decides to play his card, then you can spend these two planets once more and buy one command token. And another use is, of course, that you could also spend, for instance, six resources once more, if you can find the use for it. That's a good reason why the diplomacy card has a low turn order number, and that's basically because you need to be able to defend a system very early in the upcoming action phase so you can take your turn before everybody else takes theirs. So hopefully your aggressor is not the leadership player because they are the only one to take their turn before you. There are two good reasons to why you want to pick the diplomacy strategy card. The first one is of course if you want to defend the system and the other one is if you want to use the resources or the influence on two planets twice in the same round. So let's say that you first use the resources to build more units out on the game board and then you unexhaust those planets during the same action phase and then when we reach the status phase you can use the resources again to score a public objective.